Hey guys, the OpenNet testnet launched April 29 and in this video I'll be showing you how to join the testnet and complete your on-chain tax. The first thing to do is to set up your OP wallet using the link in the description. So click add to Chrome and install the OP wallet extension. Once the extension is installed, you need to set it up. I recommend creating a new wallet. So click create new wallet and follow the prompt to set up your OP wallet. Once your OP wallet is set up, the next thing to do is to sign up on the OpenNet testnet using the link in the description. So once you visit the DAP, click connect wallets and accept the request in your OpenNet wallet. Next, connect your Twitter. So click connect Twitter, click connect Twitter and accept the authorization request. It will reload, accept the request in your wallet. After connecting your wallet and Twitter to the OpenNet dashboard, the next thing to do is to link your OP wallet public key in the OpenNet Discord. So scroll to the bottom of this page and you will see the link to join the OpenNet Discord server. You will also find the link in the description. To get your OP wallet public key, launch your OP wallet and here you will see a public key. So click the copy icon to copy your key. In the OpenNet Discord, in the link wallet section, you'll find the OpenNet tab channel. If you don't find this channel, use the link in the description. So in the OpenNet tab channel, use the command slash connect. So here you can see the connect option, click on it and it will auto populate. The next thing to do is to paste your public key here and hit enter. So once you hit enter, you've linked your OP wallet public key. The OpenNet testnet is on Bitcoin testnet 3. So you will need TBTC on Bitcoin testnet 3 to interact on the OpenNet testnet. To claim tokens from the TBTC faucet, you will need to copy your Bitcoin testnet 3 address from your OP wallet. So launch your OP wallet and click the copy icon here to copy your wallet address. Your Bitcoin testnet 3 address is not the same as your public key. So ensure you are copying this address at the top here. There are two OpenNet faucets. You'll find their links in the description. So for the first OpenNet faucet, paste your address here, complete the capture and click claim TBTC. Once you've claimed TBTC, it's time to claim some OP20 tokens. So click OP20, click connect your OP wallet, Accept the connection request in your wallet and now your wallet is connected. Click claim 1000 PIL. Accept the signature request in your wallet and 1000 PIL will be minted to your address. So let's go to the second faucet. You find the link to the second OpenNet faucet in the description. Once you land on the page, scroll till you find the getting started section. Paste your Bitcoin testnet 3 address. Complete the capture and click claim TBTC. If you need more TBTC on Bitcoin Testnet 3, check out the link in the description for more TBTC faucets. I recommend using Altquick and the faucet. These are the most reliable TBTC faucets on Bitcoin Testnet 3. Now that you've claimed enough TBTC and OP20 tokens, you can start interacting with the OPNet Testnet. It's time to complete our on-chain tax. Now, these on-chain tags are weekly tags that reset every Monday by 12 a.m. UTC. The first tax involves taking Pure Moto LP on MotoChair. To complete these tags, you need to provide liquidity to the Pure Moto pool on MotoSwap and then stake the LP token on MotoChair. So to visit MotoSwap, click Utilities and click MotoSwap. You will also find the link in the description. Connect your wallet. So click Connect Wallet. Click OP Wallet and click Connect. So we need Peel and Moto to provide liquidity to the Peel Moto pool. Remember, we claimed Peel from the faucet. So to get Moto, we can swap Peel for Moto on Moto Swap. So make sure you select Peel from the drop down menu and select Moto from the second drop down menu. Enter the amount of Peel you want to swap for Moto. Click Swap Tokens, click Swap Tokens, and click Sign. So now your transaction will be sent. It may take a few minutes for the Moto to arrive in your wallet, so be patient. Once you have Peel and Moto, you can now provide liquidity to the Peel Moto pool. To do that, click Pool, click Add Liquidity, select Peel, 
click the drop down menu and select moto enter the amount of the tokens you want to provide as liquidity click add liquidity click confirm and click sign so now our transaction is processing you can close this page it may take several minutes for your liquidity provision to be complete so if your liquidity provision isn't complete on the blockchain you won't get any lp token to stake on motoshare the next thing to do is to stake the lp token we've gotten by adding liquidity on motoshare so to visit motoshare click farm on motoshare click connect wallet click connect and click connect in your wallet so click view the menu you will also find this link in the description on the Primoto LP card click select this dish so if your LP balance is showing as zero after providing liquidity wait for a few minutes for your balance to reflect but if you have some balance you can stake the LP token to stake click add enter the amount of the LP token you want to stake click stake now and click sign so now the transaction is in process the next task involves taking tbtc on motoshef so return to motoshef to click menu on the bitcoin card click select this dish click stake your btc enter the amount of btc you want to stake click stake now type confirm in the text box click continue and click sign so now the transaction has been sent the next task involves taking moto or motoshef so to complete this task head back to motoshef and make sure you're on the menu tab so on the moto card click select this dish to stake moto click add enter the amount of moto you want to stake click stake now and click sign now our transaction is processing the next three tasks involves swapping op tokens on moto swap to complete this task visit moto swap and make sure you're on the trade menu on moto swap you need to swap moto for peel or vice versa so in this case i'll be swapping moto for peel click swap tokens click swap tokens and sign the transaction in your wallet once you complete up to 20 swaps these three tasks will be complete the next task involves swapping moto to tbtc on moto swap for that head over to moto swap and make sure you're swapping moto for tbtc so on the drop down menu select moto and on this other drop down menu select bitcoin enter the amount of moto you want to swap for bitcoin select the priority you want click swap tokens click confirm and click sign click sign again to accept the last request and you can see this process takes about 10 minutes so you can leave this page and complete other transactions so once the transaction is confirmed it will verify on your dashboard the last act involves swapping peel to moto on moto swap i've shown you how to do that but let's do it one more time so head over to moto swap make sure you are on trade select peel from the drop down menu and select moto from the second drop down menu enter the amount of peel you want to swap for moto click swap tokens click swap tokens and click sign this task may take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to verify on your dashboard if your tax still haven't verified after a few hours click the verify completion button and this will require you to reconnect your twitter so once your twitter is connected your on-chain progress will be refreshed so that's how to complete the opnet on-chain tax if this video has helped you like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any issues ask for help in the comments or in my telegram group you'll find the link to the group in the description join my telegram channel for more opinet testnet updates crypto airdrops tips and tutorials check out the bonus section of this video description for some of the hottest testnets you can join and sign up on as many of them as possible so keep completing your on-chain tags on the opinet testnet stay safe and i'll see you in the next video